Guess what time it is? It's reading time. And today we are reading Clifford the Firehouse Dog by Norman Birdwell. What do you notice, boys and girls? What do you wonder? Good job. Let's go. Board. The Firehouse Dog. My name is Emily Elizabeth, and this is my dog, Clifford. Clifford is not the oldest in his family, but is the biggest. Look at the picture, boys and girls. Last week, Clifford and I went to the city to visit Clifford's brother, Nero. Clifford knew the way. Nero lives in a firehouse. He is a fire rescue dog. Where did Clifford go, boys and girls? Who did he visit? Good job. Great listening skills. Look at the picture. What do you see? Yes. I asked the firefighters if Clifford could help them. They thought he was the right color for the job. Why do you think they think that Clifford is the right color for the job, boys and girls? What color is Clifford? Good job. Just then, a group of school children came in for a fire safety class. Look at the picture. Nero showed them what to do if their clothing was on fire. What should you do if your clothing is on fire, boys and girls? Good job. Stop. Drop, roll. To smother the flames, you stop, drop to the floor, and roll until the fire is out. Look at Nero, boys and girls. Clifford thought he could do that. He repeated the lesson for the class. He stopped. He dropped. He rolled. Look at Clifford, boys and girls. He rode a little too far. Just then we heard the siren. There was a fire. Do you think Clifford will be able to go help put this fire out, boys and girls? Let's see. Look at the picture, boys and girls. 
Nero stayed to guard the children. Clifford and I ran ahead. He cleared the street for the fire trucks. Smoke was pouring from the top floor of a tall building. Clifford pushed the crowd back to a safe place. He saw some people in trouble. See that, boys and girls? What do you think Clifford is going to do? Good job. Look at the picture, boys and girls. What do you notice? Good job. Clifford to the rescue. What is Clifford doing, boys and girls? Good job. The heavy hose was hard to unreel. Clifford gave the firefighters a hand. But then he saw that the fire hydrant was stuck shut. Thank goodness Clifford was there to unstick it. What's happening in the picture, boys and girls? What is Clifford doing? Good job. They had to get the smoke out of the building. Clifford made a hole in the roof. The firefighters were calling for more water. Cut the picture, boys and girls. Clifford found some. He helped clear the smoke away. When the fire was out, Clifford made sure that the firefighters got out of the building safely. You see that, boys and girls? They were grateful for everything he had done to help. Clifford's Fire Safety Rules one, save the number of your local fire department in your home phone. Ask your parents to save the number in their cell phone contacts too. Know two different ways out of your house or apartment building. Choose a place nearby where you and other members of your family can meet if you have to leave your house and get separated. Never go back into your house for anything if the building is on fire. Tell your mom or dad to change the battery in your smoke alarm every year on your birthday. Do not play with matches. Never use the stove without an adult. Clifford's Fire Safety Rules
the end. Thank you so much for listening, boys and girls. Now, what is this story mostly about? What happened in this story? What was the problem in this story? How was the problem solved? See you next time, boys and girls. And remember to continue reading, reading, and reading some more.